Okay, today we're gonna mount a Heinzler counter onto an E11. Okay, builders, I get this question a lot, you know, especially with my E11, aluminum E11 kit. Uh, there's a lot of questions on how to mount the Heinzler counter, uh, which today I'm going to show you how to mount my replica, and uh, and also we'll talk about the real Heinzler counter too. Um, there's there's several versions of the actual scope rail, you know, out of the original series, and you know even for Empire, um, I actually make one like this has a flange on it which that's not totally screen accurate because if you wanted to, to mount these like they did in the, in the first movie they just literally just glued them to the side of the of the sterling uh, that's why we you know most of the pictures and or most of the film the, the things are gone you know they fell off so you know we, we kind of cheat and make a, a bracket onto the onto the scope mount so that you know, hold up during trooping or you know on your display. So you know th this this mount actually hooks in the hole, first hole here, and goes back and screws down into the sight here. Uh, there's also a version where this has kind of got an S bend and it's actually riveted into the back of the tube of the Sterling. But that's all personal preference for you. I won't go into much more of that today. Um, the main thing I want to show you is what I do to mount the replica onto the. Um, aluminum Mauser here you know, kind of like this one right here this is this is being prepped to go on one of my painted ones and uh, you can see uh, how I've, I've screwed it into the side right here okay now on my replicas I've got two replicas one of them has a 3d printed has a 3d printed uh, coil okay which makes this real easy to do okay you just you I'll show you how to drill and tap into that um, now, if you're doing a, a real build, or if you've got one of my replicas that has a, uh, a um, uh, real coil in it, it gets a little more difficult. Most of these, um, most of these counters I'm finding, and I've got a lot of these vintage ones, they're, they're actually pretty rare. Most of them don't work anymore. They're actually, you know, you find them surplus because they don't work, which you don't feel too bad about drilling into this. It's kind of difficult. You get wire twisted around stuff, but it is doable. Um, a lot of times you, people are still gluing these, you know, onto the rail so that you don't actually, you know, are drilling into a real, real, real vintage item. But, you know, hey, let's get to it. I'll show you what I do. Okay, let's get rolling here. Okay, first thing you're going to need, now I always use two drills because I hate, you know, I do enough of these where I don't like to switch out the, the tap and the, and the actual uh, twist drill. Uh, this is a number 29 twist drill and an 832 tap. This is just my preference for the screw. You can use any screw that you like. I, I prefer these uh, low profile 832. You can use a 1032. I think 632 gets a little too small, but either way, I'm using an 832 low profile. And I use a low profile because I don't want it to stick up a long ways because you don't have much room in between you know here and the side of the of the blaster so this works out really good you could use a flat head doesn't look as nice you know they're a little lower profile too but they don't look as nice okay there we go i saw the tools we'll need now let's talk about orientation uh this part back here is going to go into the site and get screwed down this part hooks in and goes this way and if you look at any of the archive footage you'll see that these two, uh, the the um, uh, plug right here is, you know, obviously on the top and forward. So I designed this to have a placement right here on the socket box. Works out really good. Just it, it basically just goes right here, just center it. Now. There may be a little debate, different models about forward or back or whatever. That's up to you. I'm not going to get into that because there's there's probably 20 different variations of this. So, but once you once you get, make sure you got your variation right. And it's going to sit on the blaster. You know, this part's in the rear. This part's in the front. 
make sure your 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 two little pin sockets right here are, are this way okay now first thing I would do once I'm holding that in the place where I want it is I just go ahead and mark up the drill that's pretty easy with the 3d printed piece done with that one and uh, I usually get some comments about the way I tap stuff I've done this a long time I, I put it in a drill motor low torque and I love these snap on by the way one of the best things I ever bought was this snap on drill because of the forward and reverse makes it great for doing this type of tapping but you just go in reverse done okay now there again let's make sure our orientations right and then you just screw that in there easy nothing to it now if you're going to do a real counter this is actually a it's, it's a copper coil and in the center of it there's a bar that it slides on and the same technique works but i have noticed as you go in with the drill you're going to reverse it take you have to you're going to get you're going to get wire on it that you're going to need to remove and, and keep peck drilling down there till you get a nice hole and then chase it with the tap and uh, usually when I do that one uh, I actually put some glue in there to make sure because it's kind of you've kind of boogered up the, the coil and there's loose wire so I kind of put some glue or epoxy down in there before I put the screw in it but once you do that you know it's on there forever so you know okay guys there you have it, the, how to, to mount your Heinzer counter onto, a, onto the sight rail there. Um, uh, all this stuff's available on blasterfactory.com. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Uh, if you, uh, like always, if you have any questions or you need any help, you know, uh, I'm on Facebook. You know, you can email me through the website, you know, call me, whatever, you know. Peace.